question first state the property that is used in each of the following statements so we have to find the properties that governs these statements by using this figure first is if a is parallel to b so it is given to us that a this line a is parallel to this line b and how we can see that it is a line because they are marked with these arrows line is non ending in either of the direction then it says that how angle 1 equals to angle 5 well you have learned in this chapter that whenever two parallel lines because it is given to us these are parallel they are intersected by a transversal in two distinct points number point one this and second point this they form corresponding angles so these are corresponding angles this and this and how to prove it if you copy this whole thing and place it over here then angle 1 will be equal to angle 5 4 will be equal to 7 2 will be equal to 6 3 will be equal to 8 this is the way to prove that corresponding angles are equal therefore this thing is true due to corresponding angles property now again a is parallel to b 4 equal to 6 angle 4 equal to 6 how this thing can be stated as equal well if you see here angle 4 is equal to 2 angle 2 because they are vertically opposite angles wherever x figure is formed they are vertical now 4 equals to 2 this angle equals to this and they are corresponding therefore we can say that angle 2 equals angle 6 and angle 2 is equal to angle 4 therefore indirectly we can state that angle 4 equals angle 6 this property is termed as alternate interior angles property because they are altered to each other and they are interior these points are interior 4 3 5 6 whereas 1 2 7 8 are exterior third is if angle 4 plus angle 5 equals to 180 angle 4 plus angle 5 180 which property states this well this is interior angles on the same side of transversal are supplementary supplementary again learning trick s comes after therefore whereas complementary c comes before s addition is 90 in this case interior angles on the same side of transversal this is your transversal this is your left side of the transversal this is your right side of the transversal so 4 and 5 are on the same side 3 and 6 are on the same side and the addition of 4 and 5 is 180 if the lines are parallel which is also given to us they are parallel and 3 plus 6 is also equal to 180 degrees so the property that governs this statement is interior angles of the same side of transversal are supplementary so that was your first question second in the adjoining figure this is the figure we have to identify the following statements the first one is the pairs of corresponding angles so we have discussed in previous question as well what are corresponding angles if the lines are parallel a and b are parallel it is not given but but considered as if they are parallel and c is your transversal that cuts this to these two lines on two distinct points one and two and that is also a definition of transversal a line that cuts any two lines at distinct points distinct means that are different not the same so corresponding angles one is corresponding to five two is to six three is to seven four is to eight so here we have written that and how you can verify it if you trace this thing and place all these angles over this then all angles will be equal so we have four pairs one two three four second the pairs of alternate interior angles well we have discussed it also alternate interior alternate means like crossing also they are interior so three and five two and eight so three and five two and eight so we have two pairs third is the pairs of interior angles on the same side of the transversal this is your transversal this is your left side of the transversal this is your right side of the transversal the pairs of interior angles you can clearly identify them 2 and 5 and 3 and 8 interior and are on same side and what is the property that you have learned in this chapter that they are supplementary that they add up to 180 degrees 2 plus 5 is 180 3 plus 8 is 180 the vertically opposite angles now what are vertically opposite angles wherever you see cross formation or x formation whenever two lines intersect each other so they are 1 and 3 2 and 4 
6 and 8, 5 and 7. So total 4. And they are also written here. Now what is this image for? You can see here it is a Z. Whenever you get confused in order to find alternate interior angles, then imagine a letter Z. Well, you can see here, this is your Z, like this. So these angles, 3 and 5, will be equal if lines are parallel. Note, if only the lines are parallel and they are intersected by a transversal. And also, here you can see, inverted Z, like this. So 8 and 2. In this way, you can remember alternate interior angles. That was your second. Question third. In the adjoining figure, E is parallel to Q. This is given to you that these both lines are parallel. Find the unknown angles. So it is given to us that P is parallel to Q. So always find this statement. If it is given, then only consider it. And if it is not given, then those lines are necessarily not to be considered as parallel. How we can identify different angles? So first of all, observe those angles which are given to you. 125, these are your parallel lines this is transversal and you know the corresponding angles are equal so straight away without any calculation you can declare that angle d will be equal to 125 degrees because corresponding angles done d has been found now since you found d vertically opposite because cross formation x formation two intersecting lines so b will be equal to d done found two angles now let's target this e we know linear pair what are linear pairs alternate angles plus non-common arm is opposite so making 180 sum so 180 minus 125 it is 55 degrees so we found angle e to be 55 degrees now again corresponding angles this a will be equal to e again corresponding so we found a also which is equal to 55 degrees f you can directly see vertically opposite x formation or cross formation so F is also equal to E, which is also equal to 55 degrees. Now the only left one is C. Again, you can find C by corresponding pair. F was 55 degrees. So these are corresponding pairs again. So we found C also. C can also be known from A because again cross. So whatever the value of A, C will also be the same. So A was also 55 degrees. So there are many ways in order to find it. We just First focus on whatever is given to you, then try to correlate the things. So that is your third. Question fourth. Find the value of x in each of the following figures if L is parallel to M. So in each figure L is given to you, it is parallel to M. And we have to find the value of x in all these three figures. In order to find x, first of all observe whatever is given to you. Here 110 is given to you. With this, recall all your properties of this parallel lines or intersecting lines. It should strike into your mind that if you somehow know this angle and you add them all, you can make use of interior angles on the same side of a transversal as supplementary. Therefore, consider this angle as angle Y. Now, this is vertically opposite because X formation. Now, angle Y is 110, vertically opposite. Now this pair should add up to make supplementary pair. Why? Because L and M are parallel. If this statement is not there, then you cannot add them to 180 degrees. It is only for parallel lines. So always watch for this line. If it is written, then only you can conclude that these angles will add up to 180 degrees. So angle X plus angle Y equals 180. Supplementary property on the same side. Here in right hand side of this transversal line. Now angle X equals to 180 minus angle y transposing angle y towards right inside this you have learned in your algebra now 180 minus angle y is 110 because vertically opposite it is 70 degrees so angle x should be equal to 70 degrees so found second these are parallel given to you so straight away the property should strike on your mind that interior angles on the same side of a transversal adds up to 180 degrees or they are supplementary so this figure can be, so this figure need not to be simply like this. It can take any orientation. You must have the observation power to watch for parallel lines and to watch for transversal. Here it is very easy because it is given to you L and M. In subsequent chapters, you will have to figure them out. 
by yourself so it is a good practice to identify the figures in any orientation now x plus 2x simple algebra 180 degrees 3x 180 degrees get rid of this 3 x separated by 3 63 is a 180 so x is 60 degree and what will be 2x twice of 60 degrees 120 degrees so found the last part l is parallel to m so this these are parallel and this is a transversal this is another transversal so never consider b and a to be parallel it is not given to you although it appears so in geometry one thing has to be kept in mind that you don't have to consider from yourself if it is given in the statement then only you have to consider it when you watch it it is a transversal these make corresponding pair so straight away you can say that x equals 200 this was just given in order to deviate your concentration so don't get puzzled it is a straightforward answer x equals 100 corresponding angles so that was your fourth fifth in the given figure this is your figure the arms of two angles are parallel if angle ABC equals 70 degree, then find first angle DGC, second angle DEF. Now it is also given to you that these arms are parallel. So you can say that AB is parallel to DE or DG and BC is parallel to EF. Now one angle is given to you that is angle ABC is 70 degrees and you have to find angle DGC, this one and this one. So first one is because AB is parallel to DG. This thing is parallel to this thing and the transversal BC you can consider it as a transversal. So in this way you figure out the problems. Sometimes you have to even construct transversal by yourself so that you can easily visualize the things which are a kind of hidden. So you clearly conclude that angle B will be equal to angle DGC why because they are corresponding and there's one easy trick to know corresponding angles just consider this letter f so these angles will make corresponding angles 70. now angle def d e f now you have to visualize it in some other way b c e f parallel given to you so that's what we have written here and a transversal now consider this as a transversal that is e d this was 70 again let f if you extend this to here again letter f or in other ways inverted f this is your f inverted and tilted at an angle so this is your 70 this will be your 70 again corresponding angles so in this way you find your answers for various geometrical representations or figures so that was your fifth question sixth in the given figures below so these are figures decide whether l is parallel to m now we have to do in opposite direction we have to find whether l is parallel to m in this question we have to go in opposite direction that earlier we were given with parallel lines and we have to find the angles in this case we are given with angles and we have to find whether the line is parallel by using the same properties that we were applying earlier when you look for the first part we observe that we are given with interior angles and we know one of the properties that interior angles on the same side of a transversal makes a supplementary pair so if you see here 126 plus 44 should add up to 180 degrees then only this l will be parallel to this line m so let's add it 126 plus 44 6 plus 4 is 10 carry 4 5 6 plus 7 1, 170 which is not equal to 180 therefore we cannot conclude that l is parallel to m in second we are given this angle is 75 this angle is 75 now if we know this angle we can deduce a relationship as corresponding angles so this is a linear pair what is a linear pair the angles must be adjacent and the non-common arm these are non-common arms they must be opposite that is they sum up to 180 degrees so subtract 75 degree from 180 degrees you'll get this angle so 180 minus 75 is 105 now you can see corresponding angles must be equal since you know that corresponding angles must be equal but it is not the case here therefore the line l and m is not parallel in this case as well third part we are given with these angles 123 and 57 degrees again if we find this angle 
and we will match these angles as corresponding if they are equal then line L is parallel to M again linear pair alternate non-common arm is opposite so 180 minus 57 degrees gives you 123 so now you observe that 123 is equal to 123 that is corresponding angles are equal therefore L is parallel to M fourth part 98 degree if you find this angle we'll try to associate it with corresponding angles property now 180 minus 72 degree is 108 degrees clearly both are not same therefore line L is not parallel to line M so in this way you can solve your questions just keep in mind that whether statement says that the lines are parallel if they are not then don't consider them to be parallel even if they appear to be so that was the last question question number sixth